Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cade Plays We Who Are About to Die. And today, the next chapter in the journey of Coplo Leone. And I've got a pretty good idea of something we can do right here. See how much fame we have? Let's sell a little bit of that fame. Let's sell about 7,000 of it. And hey, we're looking 172 to 344 per thousand fame spent. Let's see what we get here. 1369. Nice. So, what we can now do is buy this heavy plate arm, throw it in our repair slot, complete one more battle without embarrassing death, and then... Well then, my childrens, we should be very well on our way to completing our wing condition. What are we going to do here? So we got some many versus manys. We got a many versus many with insurance. That's pretty dope. We got a many versus many 13 prestigious. Where do we make more money? We make more money on either one of these level 13s. And insurance, I mean, my durability is good. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe if we fight Prestigious here, Prestigious 3v3, we can make a little bit of bank for our next run. Got no money for doing the bets. So let's go get in a fucking scrap. Let's just go have a battle. Let's have a throwdown. It's like a hoedown, but with more weaponry. There's six people. That's enough for it. A mild to moderate hoedown, at the very least. This episode brought to you by Blood Orange Flavored San Pellegrino. Which sounds kind of pretentious from the man who's usually drinking Sprite Zero. But me tells you what, it's actually pretty good though. Alright, let's see how many boys is... Anything we can remove with an axe. Bam. Headshot. Was it? Yeah. No, damn. That was actually a headshot. Sweet. Headshots with an axe. Axe headshots. Axe headshots. Axe headshots. Death be upon you. We're coming on the high right side with that swing. Did I get him? No, but I definitely... I think I breached his armor. Oh... Oh, that guy had hatred in his heart. My dude. I'm sorry she hurt you. But you just decapitated a man. Calm it down. Come on. I know he's wearing one of these fancy lion helms. But he is using a wooden shield. And I'm genuinely considering just like battering into a shield. Try and break it. But that won't be necessary because we have achieved victory. Majestic. Tab to continue and we'll see what the spoils of war are on this fine day. Pretty good amount of fame. And our multiplier brings our fame up to 3,400. I mean, we make back what we spent on the reveal all. So there's that. All right. Three free shop rerolls or plus five stamina regen. At this point, I don't really need the shop anymore, so I'll take the stamina. So now 100% stamina regen and fairly heavy armor. That's pretty good. Repaired 123 worth of durability. Took some rest. Max health. Accept a gift, Tarantian Helm. I think that might be the one I can sell for the victory. Because if I sell... Oh, that sells for 14k? So I actually have the win here. But do you know what? Five minutes is not a very good episode now, is it? Oh, look at that sward. What a fine sward that is. Slashing damage. 36 fucking slashing damage. That bloody thing's a beast. So I'm thinking 
What if we was to buy like another piece of like Triumph rolled twice, man? What the hell? I I mean, I'd love to do it. That's a steep price point. But I would love to do it. I'd love to do that helm too. Damn. That thing looks good. And it's actually better than my helm in that it has a higher fame multiplier. It's not padded though. Anyways, five minutes does not a particularly bodyful episode. Is bodyful a word? Bodyful episode make. And as such, I'm going to do something really inadvisable. I'm going to continue doing battles, even though I have my win condition to trigger at any time, and risk a permadeath loss of my character. Ha 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 ha. Ha. I'm a genius. But you know, it comes down to you and the viewers. It really does. Y'all want an episode. Platinum Abra will absolutely gut stomp me if I do an episode less than 15 minutes. Pretty sure. <laughs> meant meant playfully with all the love in the world but like let's go out on a good one with this one this has been a fun run I've had a really good time with it shall I do an over leveled one versus many fight <laughs> insurance ends prestigious it's a 1v1 against a guy with no shield I'm not saying it's a no brainer but, uh, you know, seems like something we can handle. It's one of those things where he has no shield, so the best he can do is parry me with a two-handed weapon, which is tricky and slow, which means I should, in theory, be able to beat the living piss out of him. And, uh, that sort of be that. So let's go. Let's do unnecessary bloodshed 1v1s. There's your episode title right there. Unnecessary Bloodshed. Because if there was ever a title for an episode of Cade Plays. You know, I'm immediately suspicious I may have used that one before for something. Sounds like a Werewolf the Apocalypse episode. Oh, got you in the dome. Right in the dome piece. I will counter swing you every single thing you do. All right, you can you can just you can just bugger right off with your advancingness. Get a bit saucy. Not really into you like that, mate. Long as I come out of this with more than half my health, I will be having a pretty good time. For I will win the bet. Ah, the helmet's off, and the head was the very next swing. One swing of my axe, I launch his helmet into Neptune, and then the second one, like the backswing of that same attack, I sever his neck out of his whole neck. And we have banked on three, everybody. One, two, three. Shit loads of money. Quality. Joridus doesn't hate us that much anymore, which is nice. Allura does, but I don't care because she's a bitch. I got 11,000 fame. All right. Yeah. Money in the coffers, babes. All right, sweet. We rested. We only lost 13 HP that entire fight. Because when you're the top quality axe man of the century, that's sort of how that goes. And I'm not saying Coplo Leone is technically classified as a demigod of the axe and, and chopping arts thereof. But, like, I'm just not explicitly saying he's not, either. Take that for whatever you will. Got 12 grand. Fucking hell. That's a lot of cash. I could get Entourage. <laughs> Too late for it to even matter right now, but... I kind of want to go see what the battles are. Let's see. Our reveal all gives us... Ooh, a level 15 pit fight. A level 21 V1 for a lot and lot a lot of money. A many versus one, which typically works out to be pretty easy, but it's luck of the bloody draw. Or a wild card 2v1. Wild card 2v1, entourage and prestigious. 
Yeah, that's probably the one we're going to do. So do I take Entourage just for fun? So I can have it for when I go into that match? Because I can literally right-click twice and win the game. You, 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 you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy Entourage. Just for the fun of it. So when I go into this battle... With the intention to make money. Oh, can't bet. Spent all my cash on having friends. God, it's like being a teenager again. So if we do this, it's for Allura. So she's going to kind of screw us on the payout. Because she fucking hates me. Fine, she sucks anyway. Don't care. Could have re-rolled it for free, but... I don't know. The wild card entourage thing just seemed kind of funny. And it's prestigious, so at this point we are investing gold in our next character. Oh, check it out. My mates are buff as fuck. They're absolute tanks. Look how shiny their swords are. I'll tell you something about a man. How shiny his sword is. You can take that completely in context, you little bastards. This one man is just bucked up and thinks he's him. He is about to go for this. Well, guess what? You are not him. Did my own guy just bonk me in the head with an axe? And could he not in future? Oh, yep. Yep. There we go. There we go. Committed some kind of high-speed removal of his entire cranium. Launched his brain into space. Alright, what else do we have right here? Oh, well, you know, I think I can do one more and continue to tempt fate. Whilst making lots of money. Four grand invested in the next character. That is not bad, man. That's a good little start for a, for a new prestige hunting pit fighter. So I can I can run the twos, or I can run the ones. We get we definitely get more fame out of this one, and this guy does sound like an absolute dunce. Let's throw some bets. What do we get? Five kills? Can't do that. It's one dude. Win within one minute. Oh. Win within one minute, that's almost really tempting. But. Whatever. Whatever, we're just gonna go ahead and do the battle. It's not like I need the money at this point anyway. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. I have succeeded in this run in a much more, uh. In a much more arrogant way than with my last one, for sure. That last battle on the first run, my first win. I was bricking it. I genuinely... Go back and watch that episode. I had no idea if I was actually going to pull that last match off. And it would have broken my heart so hard to, uh, to end up in that situation only to lose on a permadeath run on, my, on, my, on like the last battle of my character. Oh, I'll parry you. I'll parry you all day. Do you want more parries? Screaming ouch implies yes. Oh, I really need to take this guy out. Weapon durability is failing me. Just die. 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 Ow. Why would you hit me with a giant sword? What is this? Some kind of gladiatorial arena? You dickhead. Stop hitting me, you dickhead. I'm running out of stamina trying to hit you back. You're being a dickhead. You need to stop it. You want to stop it. Be honest with yourself. Is this the person you want people to remember you as? Guy running around with a two-handed sword trying to chop a clearly superior combatant? And then getting his guts absolutely minced by an axe? Oh, 
I dropped my weapon on that last hit. Oh, honey. I'm so glad that finished the system. Because, uh, otherwise we were going to have a problem. All right. 7,400, 6,400 fame. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. Recover. The padded Orusian helm was destroyed beyond repair. Well, you know, I could just go and buy a really, really nice new helm that looks exactly the same, or a different helm, or at a good almost 16 minutes, I could win this run. And I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and win this run right now. I will sell this item. And that's it. That's that's the win right there. So I'm going to put this helm on. Yeah. Let that be the final look of the man. Coplo Leone, the blacksmith's apprentice, now to be freed of his obligations to the pits of Tarantia. We're going to promote this one. It's time for the end of Coplo's journey. Long journey it has been. You've survived the crucible. You've tested your mettle and tempered your strength, honed to the fine edge of talent and courage. Your bloodlust and your apprentice debt quenched. Your trials have wrought a mastery of the instruments of war, the blade your bedfellow. While your peers were wenching, you studied the blade. Too bad there's more to blacksmithing than bloodletting. The legacy of triple de trickle down economy is that shop discounts for any future runs are now going to be 25% more frequent. Magnificent. I'm going to hit the button. But I'm not necessarily going to commit to a character right now, although this is a backstory I haven't completed. Former soldier. Starts with skills and equipment. Maximum health 20. Maximum stamina minus 20. Stamina regen minus 5. Retire having saved enough gold. You know, I think we can do that. So, if you're interested in observing the story of Magnus, Magnus Linanor, then you'll have to watch the next episode whenever that may be. Because for now, I've been Kay, this has been We Who Are About to Die. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>